All right, let's make this a quick video for all you basketball fans out there. I don't make a lot of basketball videos, but I'm just gonna do this quick. Sorry, let me try to get this camera to better angle. Okay, there we go. Anyways, I just got through watching the Sixers Celtics game and for you Sixers fans out there, man, I'll feel for y'all. Y'all are a good group of individuals, in my opinion. I like Philadelphia sports fans, actually. Those are real sports fans with real people. And I'm not even from Philadelphia. Yeah, my baseball team beat you on the World Series, but I'm not mad at Philadelphia for their identity. If that's the identity you want to have, take it. You're Philadelphia. You can do whatever the heck you want. I mean, I like Philadelphia sports fans. They're probably like the most real human beings on the planet. They might not be like the most polite, but who cares? They're consistent. They're passionate win, lose, or draw. And uh, I just feel bad for 76ers fans that they have to endure such a great regular season every year just to make it to the second round, just to watch the same stupid stuff every freaking year. And I'm just trying to keep it calm, okay? I don't want to, like, blow my mind. I'm not even a Sixers fan and I'm pissed. <laughs> like, really? So you go from Ben Simmons, who absolutely sucks, to James Harden, who's supposed to, supposedly supposed to be better. And the guy in big games, what does he do? Oh, I don't know. Commit like eight or nine turnovers? Like a backcourt turnover? Throwing the ball out of bounds? Dribbling into traffic? Not aggressive in a few of these games, inconsistent, constantly up or down. You don't know what you're getting out of them. And the worst part is the guy is cocky as hell and does this. Like, are you serious, Harden? This is who you are, bro. And I live in Houston. I had to endure James Harden playoff games. In big games, dude would shrink it. It's not what Philadelphia stands for, and you guys need to get rid of him in the offseason. Philadelphia, you don't need James Harden on your team anymore. I'm just saying. I can tell you, you need someone that's going to be aggressive 24-7. That's your sports culture. That's who you need. So in free agency, if you can get a guy who's kind of like a rough rider, similar to a Jimmy Butler, even though you never should have went for Tobias Harris in the first place, you could have had Butler instead of Harris, but nope. Stupid management decided that Tobias Harris was a better move than Jimmy Butler. And that was like, what, three or four years ago? And if you kept Jimmy Butler, you might actually sniff in Eastern Conference Finals. Because at least he was going to go 100 for y'all. This James Harden guy, uh, hell no. Ben Simmons? Hell no. Tobias Harris? Hell no. Keep Maxie, though. Maxie's going to be good for you guys. He'll give you at least another solid five years of basketball. Paul Reed, you need to develop him. Niang is solid. I'll, I'll give him that. Who else is halfway decent on your team? I'm trying to think. I don't remember. Well, Embiid is your MVP. You're going to have to build around him, except Embiid pissed me off today, too. The guy's being guarded by Al Horford, who's like three or four inches shorter. And Al Horford is playing physical with you. What does Embiid do? Play soft and shoot a crap load of fadeaways? If you're an MVP and somebody's pushing you around, push back. <laughs> Bro, you play for Philadelphia. Quit being a pussy and, like, bully somebody in the paint. It's not going to kill you. Like, quit letting a dude push you around. <laughs> Good night. Every time Horford guarded and beat, like Horford was either blocking his shot, forcing a turnover. Jesus, Joel. You want the ball, but when you get the ball, what do you do with it? Zero. <laughs> You're just getting bullied around by Al Horford. <laughs> Marcus, well, when he finally got Marcus smart on you, you did something. But why couldn't you play that way with Horford guarding you? Like, at least draw a foul, do something. 
He's going to be physical with you, match force with force. It's not going to kill you, Joel. Come on. It's not that hard to do. You're a good player, but geez, are you kidding me? That was sad to see in a game seven. And I like to see the Sixers in an Eastern Conference Finals. I'd like to see them in an NBA Finals. Because Philadelphia fans haven't had that since Allen Iverson. And hey, I like Allen Iverson. He's like the best, one of the best basketball players y'all had since like Dr. J. Those dudes were scrappy and physical and fought for everything. That's what y'all identify with. I didn't see that out of the Sixers team today or against the Heat in game six last year or against the Hawks in game five and game seven two years ago. We saw it in the Toronto series, but y'all were an underdog to Kawhi Leonard, even though y'all should have won. Y'all got robbed, but... That was like the only year that y'all deserve to actually win. That Hawks series two years ago was BS. That game six against the Heat, BS. Game six and seven, when he had a chance to close out Boston, BS. <laughs> this, all three years, Doc Rivers was your head coach. He's out. You don't need a motivational speaker. You need a guy who's going to challenge people. Doc Rivers doesn't do that. He's a nice guy. That's why nice guys don't win titles. He won one because he had a bully in Kevin Garnett. Who's going to fight anybody? Paul Pierce is going to speak his mind. Kendrick Perkins brought toughness. That's the only reason he won a title. He rode those guys. The ex If he's got... Too nice of a team. Doc Rivers doesn't add to the physicality. He doesn't add toughness to the coaching staff. Are you kidding? This Daryl Morey guy. He has a love affair with James Harden. Did you expect him to not fall in love with James Harden? James Daryl Morey and James Harden are practically like this, okay? So if he resigns next year, I'm gonna be so pissed for y'all because you don't you deserve better Philadelphia. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So what do you Sixers fans think is gonna happen in the offseason? Hopefully you guys get rid of the dud and James Harden and you get a scrappier player that's actually gonna to want to play for y'all. I would I don't know. Think I almost wanted to say get Kyrie Irving, but that might not be much better. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully in the free agent market, you guys get a really good, talented player to partner with Embiid that's going to go 100% every play, unlike James Harden. Because you guys deserve that. In order for you to get to the next level, you're going to need that because... James Harden's not going to get you there. I mean, P.J. Tucker's cool. I like P.J. Tucker. I've actually met him in person when he was in Houston. Yeah, he might be limited offensively, but he'll give you everything he's got. I don't know if he stays or goes. He might probably retire. I don't know. But y'all need to get rid of Harden and get rid of Doc Rivers. And Embiid, you need to be more physical than what you showed. That was disgusting. Okay, I'm done. That's the mellow version. I don't want to be like screaming on the camera. I'm not that ghetto, but all right, peace.